Well, he plans to make his company a global player by the year 2020, aspiring to the likes of GE and Siemens. But for now, Francis Yeo is busy in his home market of Malaysia, running a diversified infrastructure businesses. Now, CNBC's Phil Yin caught up with YTL boss during a recent visit to Hong Kong to get his outlook on the Malaysian economy. I think the Malaysian economy is going to be uh, doing very, very well. First and foremost, we are blessed with a uh, tremendous amount of natural wealth in the form of oil, gas, uh, timber, palm oil. So with all natural resources, and uh, then uh, now the Prime Minister Abdullah Badawi welcomes uh, brain gain as opposed to the brain drain. And this is refreshing because to have that, you need a lot more uh, a renaissance of thinking and you know all economies that do not have natural resources like Singapore or Taiwan or Hong Kong does very well because it's the brains, it's the asset. It's just a matter of tweaking Malaysia's uh, mindset towards a, a more competitive mindset. I'm quite sure the future, the sustainable Malaysia's economy will be much much more sustainable than in the past. Malaysia has made it through the transition between former Prime Minister uh, Mahathir to the current Prime Minister now Abdullah Badawi. Has YTL been impacted by this transition given that former Prime Minister Mahathir used to be sort of a big projects type of person as opposed to the current Prime Minister who takes more of a gradual approach? Well, I think you know, uh, Dr. Mahathir left behind a legacy and a way of life and a way of doing things. And, and that allows Malaysians to reinvent themselves. I think, I think uh, he, he knew it before he retired that we could reinvent ourselves to, be, to take on uh, whatever that's going on around the world. And of course, Badawi uh, has been very, very significant in uh, his leadership, has been very positive in a few aspects, one of which was his ability to roll back Muslim fundamentalism through the ballot box, which few leaders around the world uh, can claim. And also his uh, transparency, his uh, battle against corruption is very serious. And the country is uh, rolling and moving. And there's a kind of sense of renaissance and a renewed faith to uh, move on where Mahathir left us. And I think we could reinvent ourselves. We could do very, very well indeed.